Recently, we did a video with three reasons why you may get the so-called keto flu that so many of you are talking about. Well, now we've done our research, and in this video, we're going to give you five reasons why you may get the keto flu. Welcome to the Liz and Scats channel. Hi, I'm Scats, and I'm a musician and music therapist with type 2 diabetes. And with my wife Liz, who is a clinical holistic therapist, I've been beating diabetes with a big stick using keto and fasting. Stay tuned by doing this. Subscribe, 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 and, and click on the bell. bell. As usual, Liz and I have been doing lots of research to bring you the best information on keto and fasting because we want to lose weight, become more healthy and bring you the answers that you need so that you can have the same success we are having. I've lost about 40 pounds so far on keto and fasting. Liz has lost about 22 pounds. I started off my journey by doing just intermittent fasting on a diet that was still quite high in carbs. And I had some limited success on that, but it wasn't until I started doing the full keto thing that I began to see consistent results. But I still occasionally feel a bit weak. I get those keto flu feelings. So I wanted to find out why. And because of that, we've done more research and we've added two more reasons why people get keto flu. So the first thing we're going to do is have a quick recap of points one, two and three for those of you who didn't see the first video that we did a few weeks ago. And then we'll go straight on to points four and five. Just remember, like we always say, do your research and if you have any underlying health conditions or if you've got diabetes or you're on medication, speak to your doctor before you do anything. Reason number one. When you first start on a keto diet, you're burning glucose for energy and you'll still need to burn up all of those reserves of glucose before you get into ketosis where you start burning fat for energy. We found that this happened round about day three or day four. So what do you do about it? Well, just stick with the program, keep eating the right foods and you will see the benefits round day three or day four. Number two reason. If you have too many carbs or even too much protein, and you get your macros wrong, that's the percentages of fat, protein and carbs in your diet, then you might find that you slip out of ketosis and then you start burning glucose again. And in that case, all you have to do is just get back on track. That's number two in a nutshell. And just remember, it's not the end of the world. Keep going. Reason number three. One thing you need as part of a normal diet is minerals. Now, when you're on ketosis or when you're fasting, you might find that you're not getting enough of those minerals and especially sodium. A lack of sodium can make you feel weaker. Now, I'm on keto and fasting, so I'm not eating as many meals a day. I'm eating less carbohydrates. Some of the carbohydrate vegetables are the ones that you need to provide you with the minerals that you need. Make sure you get enough salt you might need about four to five grams of salt a day. So I'm finding I have to top up my salt. The other minerals that you need are potassium and magnesium. You'll get those from your leafy green vegetables. I keep saying this and making Liz laugh. Leafy green vegetables, very important. And the red meats too, if you're not a vegetarian. And also keep hydrating, you need plenty of water. Those leg cramps you might have experienced, that's to do with lack of minerals eat your leafy greens. So onwards to reason number four. This is the new one, okay? I've seen quite a few people making videos on YouTube about keto, they're trying it out and they're doing lots of exercise with it as well. Well, what you have to make sure is that you're doing the right exercises for fat burning. I've seen so many people doing really, really hard cardio exercises where they're doing lots of running and they're complaining that they've got no energy. Well, that's because they're doing 
cardio, anaerobic exercise, which means your heart rate is above, say, 120 BPM. That can vary depending on your weight and your age. If you're doing those kind of exercises, you're burning glucose for energy, or certainly a lot more glucose than the fat. And if you remember, right at the start of getting into ketosis, you've depleted your glucose reserves. You're not eating very many carbs anymore, so you're not getting those glucose reserves. So you're bound to feel that keto flu feeling. It's not real flu, obviously. You're just low in glucose. If you want to burn fat and lose weight, you should be doing aerobic exercise. Keep your BPM below 120, just walk, medium pace walking, slow cycling, those kind of things. That's how you burn the fat. Obviously, it's okay to do some cardio. That's good for your heart. It's good for your fitness. And in the long term, you'll be moving on gradually as you get to the point where you get to your ideal weight. You'll be doing more cardio. You'll also be doing high intensity interval training or HIIT. I'm no expert on the cardio and the HIIT at the moment because all I'm doing is the walking and the slow cycling. When I get down to my ideal weight, I'll start doing a lot more cardio. I'll start walking up mountains and you'll see that on future videos. So keep on staying tuned to this channel, subscribe and click on the notifications bell and you will get to know all of the new things that I learned about that as we go along. And finally, number five reason. Now this is a completely new one to me. I've only just learned about this one. But it turns out that it can take you quite a while of being in ketosis before your body gets fully fat adapted. I'm not going to go into the complex medical terminology of this. I'm just going to explain it in layman's terms as easily as I can at the moment. What we'll do is in a later video, we'll come back and explain it properly. But this is what we've learned. It can take 10 to 12 weeks of being in keto before you're fully fat adapted. That means that occasionally you might get those feelings of low energy and you have no idea why. You've been doing everything else right. You've got your macros right. You've been eating right and you're exercising right, but you still get those feelings of weariness. And that happened to me last week and it lasted for two or three days. I've only been on keto for seven or eight weeks now and I still get those weary feelings. And the reason for this is eating all of the wrong kinds of foods for the whole of my adult life. I've been overweight or obese. I think it was the age of 17 or 18 when I was in the normal BMI range. Now, if you keep on following us, in about a month's time, I estimate, I will be back in the normal range and I am so looking forward to that. There's going to be a big celebration. So what do you do about these lulls, this keto flu? Well, you just stick with it. If you find that after 10 to 12 weeks, you're still getting these lulls in energy, then you should see your doctor. I mean, really, you should be talking to your doctor before that. You should be taking blood tests to make sure you're on course and that your readings are okay and there aren't any underlying problems. Obviously, if you're on some medication, you need to be doing this very, very carefully and in conjunction with your doctor. But if you've been taking keto seriously, doing your research, following your blood test results, talking to your doctor, there should be no reason why you shouldn't be fully fat adapted about 12 weeks in and I'm really looking forward to that. So those are the five reasons why you might get the keto flu. Remember it's not the real flu and the symptoms aren't really all that bad. Some of the symptoms especially on point number five could be to do with lack of serotonin. That's something technically again that we're going to explain in a later video but that might mean that you do have the energy but you just don't feel like you've got the energy. You just feel low. So push on through and you'll get there. The rewards really are good for this. I am feeling tremendous. I'm getting down to that weight that I'm going to be really, really happy with. Subscribe, click on that bell and put some comments below and tell us about your journey too.
And if you've subscribed, you'll be the first to know what the next six to 100 reasons for keto flu are. Just remember, like Pippity Scatterdog, our keto puppy, keto and fasting aren't just for Christmas. They are for a long and healthy lifestyle. So, see you in the next video. Bye for now. Uh...